Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 22572. This is a build that Microsoft released today. And of course, in this video, we're gonna talk about what is new and what you can expect from this build if you install it on your computer. Before talking about anything, don't forget to like these videos and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel because it helps me a lot while I do these videos. And of course, you can show your support by liking this video and also subscribing. So thank you a lot. Lot. Let's get on with the video. Starting with this build, Microsoft is introducing the Microsoft Family app. This is an app that basically has the family safety features used on web and mobile. Those are now available in Windows 11 in this build. To install it on Windows 11 Pro, just open up the settings app, then go to accounts, and then go to family. And you'll be able to see here Microsoft Family. Just click on open family app, and you will be redirected to the Microsoft Store, where you'll be able to get this app, basically install it on your operating system. Basically, this app lets you set parental controls to filter inappropriate apps and games and set browsing to kid-friendly websites for Microsoft Edge. Also help your kids balance their screen time activity on Windows, Xbox, and Android, and also use activity reporting to better understand your family's digital activity. You can stay connected even when you are apart with family location tracking. I'm not gonna go in depth with this app, but I'm just gonna show you how it looks, how the design is. It has a really cool design and a lot of interesting features that can help you if you want to manage, as I've said, the digital activity of your family. In this build, we have another new app, which is called ClipChamp. ClipChamp is the new video editor focused on making video creation easy, fast, and fun in Windows 11. You have it pre-installed if you updated this build. You have all the basic tools you'd expect, like trimming and splitting, as well as more pro-style features like transitions and animated texts. For real-time content capture, there are also built-in webcam and screen recorders. I think this is really 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 cool and when you open the app you'll get to this point you can skip for now and just go on create a video by clicking on that button and this is basically a really simple video editor that comes pre-installed in Windows 11 in the build 22572 this is a great app I think and uh, of course I'm not gonna go in depth with it but it's really cool that it also has the screen recording so if I click on screen as you can see here I have screen record with audio and I'm gonna have to let this app use the microphone and then I just click on the record button and everything that I record will be automatically added to the timeline and then I can edit it. This is really cool and this is a great app that maybe I'm gonna make a different video about in the upcoming period of time. Also coming soon on Windows 11 is the search highlights. Basically, search highlights will present notable and interesting moments like holidays, anniversaries, and other educational moments in time, both globally and in your region. You'll find rich, bold content in search home that highlight what's special about today. I'm gonna leave you some screenshots so we can see what is up with search highlights. Of course, this is not yet in this build but starting next week we'll have this if you want to find out more info about this you're going to have a link down below in the article to the microsoft website to their blog where they state a lot more info about this new feature changes and improvements in this build we have a new design for the print queue section of windows basically this is updated design that aligns with the windows 11 design principles and allows you to easily identify your desired print job see the status and manage it this is really cool also we have a new fluent style icon for the quick assist app for those of you who don't know quick assist is an app something like team viewer that can help you connect to someone else's pc and help them doing a certain task i think this is really cool that they updated this icon you'll see that now in the taskbar if you have do not disturb set to on we will have an updated icon for the notification center that is really cool another great new addition if you use shift plus right click this will open the show more options context menu in the file explorer and then that is really cool. Just press shift and right click and this will open up this context menu. Really, really nice for Microsoft. Windows Terminal is now called Terminal under Start. Just a small little change. Regarding settings, then apps, then optional features, you'll have here WMIC set as an optional feature that can be uninstalled or reinstalled using this section. They also switched the touch keyboard icon option under settings, personalization, and taskbar from being a toggle to now being a drop down where you can select select never, always, or when no keyboard attached. Windows Sandbox also has a new fluent style icon, really cool. And also the legacy version of Windows Media Player available in Windows Tools has now been renamed to Windows Media Player Legacy. So you still have the old app, which has been renamed to Windows Media Player Legacy. This is basically everything that is new in this build, but I'm just gonna talk about some fixes that I find really interesting. First of all, Microsoft finally fixed the right click on the taskbar, so Explorer.exe should no longer 
server crash when you right click on the taskbar and they also made some improvements regarding file explorer so that when you use the context menu things should go a lot more smoother and the performance should be better and also improvements and fixes were applied to the search section of windows and also the settings app if you want to find out more info and also the whole list of fixes and also known issues in this build go ahead and check out the article down below in the description if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tech base until next time have a nice day